Okay, I uh, just want to go ahead and take a couple seconds to uh, showcase the new Apple TV 2 and um, you know, out of the box, it can't really do a whole lot. You know, you can, uh, of course, pay for pretty much everything. You can buy your movies on iTunes and watch them. You can watch your um, TV shows. You can listen to your music, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but that's after you've gone ahead and set it up through um, iTunes to stream from your computer. Of course, anybody can go ahead and stream videos from their camera at any point in time. Um, however, you know, there's a whole lot more that you can do with the Apple TV to, um, I guess, HTPC... Well, I guess I would consider it an HTPC. I mean, I wouldn't really think it's uh, all that strong. It's uh, The specifications are kind of low. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it does kind of perform at its at its, uh, at its finest when it's rooted um, or jailbroken. Sorry, I'm used to Android. But, uh, yeah, I've gone ahead and I, I flashed it with uh, an application called ATV Flash Black. Um, ATV Flash is a, it's a pretty neat uh, program out there. Uh, it actually goes ahead and just through the network will flash your Apple TV to um, just over the network so you don't have to worry about the SSH. This is if you're on Windows. Uh, it's really nice, um, way easier than using any of the SSH uh, workarounds that you can find on Windows. Um, once you've actually done that, you can then start using, uh, you know, I use an FTP client. Um, I prefer FileZilla because it's very small, easy to download, lightweight, performs quickly. Um, but you can use that to go ahead and connect to your Apple TV wirelessly. Um, now that's uh, this is very easy to do. There's um, how to's, tips, and tricks on how to do that online. Um, but you know, once you do get the Apple TV two flashed, uh, it's very nice. You can do uh, pretty much everything. Um, I've gone ahead and installed something called Overflow, and I put all of my uh, settings under Overflow, um, so that way they're not you know hogging up this whole thing, and you have to scroll all the way left and all the way right. This just makes it a lot simpler, a lot more neat and compact. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of Nido TV2, but Nido TV2 does have a few of its um, few of its add-ons, and you can manage them through Nido TV. Um, things uh, update be gone is very important. It prevents you from uh, having to um, update the Apple TV2, and you know, possibly, well, not possibly, most likely break your jailbreak. Um, let's see here. I mean, there's the open SSH to be able to actually connect, uh, you know, through the network. Um, overflow I used, like I said, to hide all of the uh, extra settings and, and slides. Um, remote is and remote and remote HD. I haven't gotten a chance to try those because uh, I don't actually have them on my iPhone, unfortunately. Um, but those are supposedly really nice. Um, there's just so much stuff here. You can uh, you can actually go ahead and um, you know there's things such as. Uh, torrents that you can you can actually run torrents off of uh, the Apple TV too. Um, for those of you who like to do illegal things, um, you know I'm not going to condone it, of course, but um, you know it's out there. And and I mean even though you want to torrent things, since torrents not actually illegal, it's uh, it's just been bogged down with the amount of illegal activity that's uh, that torrents actually utilize. Now uh, there's also some more settings the. Uh, the main thing that the um, Apple TV to flash black that I used gave me this, um, this whole extra manager, um, couch surfer. It's pretty nice. The only thing is, uh, for example, if I hold down my remote, um, you know, like so, it, uh, you know, it can work, um, but it's kind of slow. It's a little buggy. Um, takes forever in typing, not to mention the typing takes forever too. Um, Media player, eh, I didn't have much luck with it. Somehow, some people are actually able to use it, but um, you know, it's not. It's never worked for me yet. I'm sure that I'm doing something wrong, but I just haven't had the time to worry about it. Uh, my favorite um, add-on to the Apple TV 2 is the XBMC um, Xbox Media Center. Of course, you know where that started, um, but it has been ported to uh, pretty much just about any uh, device that's made for media these days. Um, they're really, really nice, and uh, XBMC, it's it's open source, it's it's great, I, I love it. Um, <clears throat> but of course, I'm not going through the actual Apple TV 2 preview, I'm going straight into uh, some of my favorite parts about this, uh, Apple TV 2 being jailbroken, um, and honestly, my favorite part is the XBMC. Uh, negative impact, that does take a few seconds to load once you do click it, um, but once you do, it's totally worth it. Uh, for example, I mean, you get the. Uh, I'm using the Aeon MQ2 
Um, MQ3 is nice, but it's very bogged down on the Apple TV too. It's made for actual uh, HTPCs that uh, have some power, have some processing. Uh, they're actually better for actual HTPCs, not just an Apple TV too. Uh, but XBMC has many, many things you can do with it. Um, for example, if I check out my movies, this is going to be streaming from my uh, from my laptop right now. Um, looking through all of my videos that I've uh, ripped from my DVDs onto the computer here. Um, very, very nice. Now, uh, you've also got the uh, your television shows and your, your photos and everything. Um, but, let's see here. You can do things like YouTube from this, but my favorite, um, and I'm not going to go into the whole legality of the, uh, the ICE films, but I would say ICE films is the most important add-on to the Apple TV, too. So it's kind of like Netflix, but um, it's basically a server where these individuals actually go out and they put up um, direct links to videos that have been posted on Mega Upload. Uh, of course, there's copyright infringement with that, so I wouldn't suggest doing this. Um, I'm just doing it for uh, viewing purposes to show you what can be done on the Apple TV 2. Uh, for example, um, say I want to watch a TV show. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and catalog everything that's on, things like Mega Upload. Um, I'm going to go down to Popular, and let's see what we have listed under here. Now the first time you do this, it's going to take quite some time to download all and retrieve all the files. Um, but, you know, for example, I want to see Breaking Bad. I haven't gotten to watch that yet, and I've been wanting to. Um, so I'm going to click on Breaking Bad. Now, uh, it's, it will condense all of the seasons into each folder. Uh, so you'll go to Season 1, for example. Um, now, I've tried this in all the different views, like CoverFlow, etc. Um, but the creator of this uh, plugin for XBMC actually did not give it any uh, appealing artwork, so it's kind of pointless to do it. I'd rather just look at it in a big list. Um, so I'm going to watch the pilot episode, for example. Now what they do is not only one source, they go ahead and find multiple sources for each episode in each movie. Uh, it's, it's very nice. Like It's retrieving all of the uh, sources for Breaking Bad, Season 1, Episode 1, Pilot. Now here's all the sources for it. Um, now, of course, if you're looking in uh, 720p HD, those actually, if you have a good internet connection, those are very reliable. They're very nice. They, they move pretty quickly um, and download and update pretty well. Um, let's see here. It looks like I'm having a script error with this. I'm not sure where that came from, but I was working perfectly fine yesterday. Uh, but here, for example, I guess the Source 1 did not want to work, so um, we're downloading... Um, not downloading necessarily, but uh, basically queuing and um, buffering the episode one, season one, um, source number two through ICE films. Now it's going to take about 45 seconds to go ahead and buffer. That way, once it starts playing, you don't notice all the choppy, uh, terrible uh, breaking sound, breaking video, um, sometimes even screen tearing due to the uh, the ability to, um, or the manner in which it's streaming to the uh, HTPC, the Apple TV 2. Um, once this starts up, it'll then go to a buffering screen that'll load for just, you know, three or four seconds, um, and then your video will start its playback. Uh, so here we go. See the working down there in the bottom right? There we go. <clears throat> so you see the playback is excellent. This doesn't look to be a 720p HD video, unfortunately, so it's not going to look too good. Not to mention I'm recording from, uh, from an iPhone, so it's not really, and not even the iPhone 4, it's just the original 4. Um, so the video, I mean, granted the video on those is good, but when you're going to try to watch a TV show through an iPhone camera, of course, it's not going to look good anyway. Um, so that's that. That's Ice Films. Uh, that's pretty pretty nice. Um, once you go ahead, and the only thing is, there's not a direct button back to uh, the menu very easily on a lot of themes. This one has it, but um, you know you can check out your weather, uh, things like that. Uh, you can go through all of your pictures. Uh, they've got all your video libraries. Uh, for example, let's see what I have here. 
I've also got a couple TV shows that I uh, that I ripped onto the computer from mine uh, from my library here. Um, I don't have it linked yet because I had to redo everything on here, but uh, that's always pretty good. Now, the thing I can say is a lot of themes, um, it's kind of hard to actually set them up to genuinely go, like for example, I'm on my movies, it's going through my movie uh, fan art. Now, what I did, I actually had to download and uh, put my fan art onto the Apple TV 2 itself for these to stream over, and I had to put them on via FileZilla. Uh, once I did that, um, I had to go all the way into the settings um, and into my skin. By the way, I don't know why I uh, told you I was using Aeon MQ2. I am using Confluence. Um, I'm not using the um, the one that comes with the uh, Apple TV2 and a, a um, XBMC. I'm actually using the con other version of Confluence that looks uh, very nice, very slick, and it moves and performs very well on the Apple TV2. You'll find with the Apple TV2 a lot of these uh, themes um, are actually over <clears throat> over extensive when it comes to uh, graphics processing and everything. Um, so you'll see that the simpler ones that you customize on your own in small ways with very few add-ons is definitely much easier. Um, now in order to edit the backgrounds like I did, I had to say for example select videos um, and I clicked multi-image, uh, went up to a directory. Um, I actually put all of my stuff in my media folder under a backdrops folder that I don't plan to move. Um, <clears throat> now, see, that's some of the ones that I used when I had uh, the Aeon MQ2. Um, but now, for example, I had to drop all of my backdrops in the movies and click OK. I know you don't see them in this file list, but once you do, they actually start appearing right here and, and flowing on their own. Um, so that's really nice. Now, once you get out of that, uh, there's a lot of things you can edit here. Um, a lot of different add-ons you can do for XBMC, and this is a full version of XBMC. Um, so you can do any non-platform specific uh, themes, add-ons, um, any sort of uh, plugins that you can find. Um, you know, you can edit your own appearance of the actual Apple TV2 XBMC program here. Uh, you can change your language, your skin, and a lot of themes come with different types of uh, colors, fonts, and um, all that good stuff. The only thing I've noticed here that I still have to fix is my sound doesn't work. Uh, like for example when I'm navigating I want to hear the bursting bubbles I don't hear anything. Um, so yeah that's pretty much the uh, the most important aspect in my opinion of the Apple TV 2. To put it lightly if I didn't have XBMC on the Apple TV 2 I very likely would have returned the Apple TV 2 uh, the very same day that I bought it. Um, without XBMC Apple TV 2 is kind of uh, it's lacking, I would say. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a uh, it's pretty nice little device once you have it jailbroken. And uh, I'm currently running uh, version 4.3. Um, so with version 4.3, that is currently, uh, it can be hacked. Uh, not necessarily hacked, but jailbroken, which is legal, by the way. Um, so you'll see all mine there. That is my IP address for this device. Um, <clears throat> on my network. Now you'll see all kinds of things you can do here on the actual Apple TV that I have no interest in. But yeah, I uh, just wanted to go ahead and showcase some of that from XBMC and showcase some ice films. Um, of course, you know, leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do from there. Thanks for watching.